Good morning, Vasilisa. Good morning, Woodland friends. Good morning, lovely lady of the forest. It is good. It would take the work of the devil himself to turn this day bad. Don't tempt the fates, Vasilisa. <gasps> Your lovely face, shining like gold, has attracted the hearts of Cachet. <laughs> and no one escapes the evil heart of Cachet the Immortal. <laughs> Welcome to my home, Vasilisa. I am most pleased to have such a lovely visitor. Visitors come of their own free will, Cache. However you came, you are here as my guest. No. Neither visitor nor guest. I am your prisoner. Yes, yes. Perhaps that's true. But don't be sad, beautiful lady. Just look all around you. View the splendor of your prison. The trees, the leaves, even the birds here are made from that most precious of all Earth's treasures, gold. Gold is cold and hard, like you are, Caché. Not cold and hard, strong and immortal. Look, you steal me from my forest. But my forest follows me here. So beautiful, as it was meant to be by nature. True beauty survives, waiting to re-emerge and reach for the warmth of the sun. Beauty? I'll show you beauty. Watch. And behold. No! No. Ah, look, Vasilisa. Look, a common drop of water, transformed by my hand into a beautiful diamond. A diamond to be worn by my beautiful lady on the day of our wedding. <laughs> our wedding? Do you think that I would marry you? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Just look at yourself. So, you think that I am ugly, do you? Your face only reflects the ugliness of your heart. My dear lady, you do not know how ugly a thing can be. But you will soon find out from me. Faithful servants, do my bidding and bring to me my mirror of darkness. Through my mirror, lovely lady of the forest. Look at yourself, Vasilisa. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. My heart bears the kind of beauty that will always show through. Oh. I have waited.
waited long enough for my sons to be men. As the sons of a king, you three must be wise, brave, and strong. And of course, you must marry. That's right. I want grandchildren. A king must have many grandchildren. Don't you agree? Of course, father. You are always right. But we must marry carefully. Too late. Simply do as you're told. You will each take an arrow. Then you will shoot it anywhere. She who finds the fired arrow, she shall be your wife. Now go. Go and don't come back to my castle without a bride. Ha! My arrow will land in the yard of a palace guard. I shall marry well. My arrow will land in the yard of a wealthy merchant. I could do worse. My arrow has landed I know not where. And don't come back to my castle without a bride. for my bride, but I see her not. You are to marry? Yes. It is my fate. I see. Dear Prince, I promise that if fate leads you to marry me, you will never regret it. What? What? You're a frog. I could never marry one so ugly as you. If that is all you see, then you do not really see me. <laughs> There's no other to be found. And my father's will must be obeyed. Wait! Come back, frog! My bride you shall be. My sons, today you make me proud. You have followed the will of your father and married well, <laughs> for the most part. Now, my sons, I wish to discover which of you has returned with the best wife. Let's find out. I want each wife to embroider me a rug tonight. Now go. The frog promised I would never regret it if we married. I regret it tonight. What is wrong, dear Prince Ivan? Why do you look so sad? My father would have you embroider him. A royal silken rug. Have faith, dear Ivan. Sleep and dream. And in the morning, all will be brighter. I will not disappoint you, my prince.
trust in me, dear prince. Look, a ray of moonlight. The perfect canvas on which to create my rug. With help from the beauty that lives in nature, a magnificent rug shall be created. Tables. My horse will love it. <laughs> Let me see the next one, my son. Oh. Oh. Very aquatic. Looks like a fish weaved it. Y using her fins. <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of rug did our little frog princess make? A lily pad, perhaps? <laughs> Very tiny lily pad, that is. <gasps> oh, it, it's beautiful. Oh, it's amazing. Fantastic. Oh, the little frog is a princess after all. <laughs> Listen. Tonight we feast in honor of this rug. A celebration. Everyone must come. Must I bring my wife? Of course you'll bring her. As you wish, father. Ivan, what happened? What said the king? Did he not like the rug I weaved? Oh, I know. You are feeling ashamed of your wife again. Oh, my princess, I'm so sorry. You are kind and good, and yet I am ashamed. <sighs> ashamed to show you as my wife at the feast tonight. I understand, my prince. But you must trust me. Go to the feast alone. I will come soon after. You will hear thunder and feel the earth tremble. But don't be afraid. Just tell those at the feast that it is only your frog princess approaching. Welcome, 
my son. Have you come without your lovely wife? Or is she still busy making herself beautiful? <laughs> uh, what happened to your wife, little brother? Perhaps she's still bathing. In the pond outside the castle walls? <laughs> Wherever did you find such a lovely bride, anyway? Did you have to search the whole swamp for her? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, like thunder. I don't know. Thunder! Strange oh, thing! Stop this! I command it! Everybody, please calm down. It's only my wife approaching. My wife, the Frog Princess. She'll be hopping in soon. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Cherry! It's so beautiful. Look, look. Sorry, Prince Ivan, for being so late. I wanted your family to see me at my best. Who are you? The ugly frog princess, Vasilisa. Vasilisa! The beautiful. Oh. The frog was enchanted. What? We should not have laughed at her. You're right, brother. Welcome, dear children. I see your wife has appeared at last. Ah, it was worth the wait. The king adores the frog princess now. Watch her closely, wife, and do exactly as she does. Yes, you do the same, wife. Did you see? She poured wine up her sleeve. The whole cup full. Now look, a bone up her sleeve, and a feather, and another! Oh, now more bones up her sleeve, oh, yet another! Give me that! Oh, she's going to dance! Look! Beautiful! Frog Princess is done. Now our wives will dance, Father. Enough! Enough! What are you doing? The 
frog skin. I must burn it. No! Ivan, my love! My husband, what have you done? If only you had waited three more days, I would have been yours forever. But now, I must return to the kingdom of Cache the Immortal, never to see you again. Goodbye, dear husband. I love you. Goodbye. Vasilisa! Vasilisa! No! Come back! Vasilisa! Vasilisa! Give up! Vasilisa! Vasilisa! Vasilisa, my love. Where are you? Goodbye, my love. I sing to you in silence, knowing that however hard I try, I never more will see your face or touch you. Goodbye, my love. Good day, young man. What brings you into my forest on this lovely spring day? Looking for my love, old man. She has been taken by the evil cachet. I know. I know. It, it's just that I didn't expect you to arrive quite so soon, that's all. Oh, my. Mm. Tell me, Prince, what made you think you could burn up the frog skin? It wasn't yours. You had no right to destroy it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Can you please help me? This is a most interesting little twig. It will lead you to Cachet's castle. If you have faith enough to trust, that is. I do! Thank you for helping, old man, and goodbye! Wait for me, Twig! Wait for me, please! We must be careful! These woods can be dangerous! Don't shoot my children. We will help you someday. This I do promise. Very well. Be off with you. Do not shoot me, sir. Spare me and my children. And I promise you this. Someday, I'll repay you. Of course. I've learned to trust the words of a promise. Orphan, my children. If you allow me to live, you will have a loyal friend. Very well. Take care of your family. Thank you for your kindness. I will also be your friend. Help me, please. My child is trapped in the debts of a fisherman. Send him to me in the sea, and I will be your servant when need arises. Go. Swim again with your father. Hurry, Twig, to the castle of Cachet.
Baba Yaga, stay still as can be, with thy back to the woods and thy front facing me. commands my house so strongly to do his bidding. Why, it's none other than the prince come to visit this lovely old lady. <laughs> I must rescue my love from the evil hands of Kashe, the immortal. And only the beautiful, clever and wise Baba Yaga can tell me how it must be done. Oh, ha! come in. Um, let me, uh, no, uh, Vasilisa cannot be rescued until Kashe the Immortal is dead. Yes, dead, dead, dead. And killing Kashe is impossible without the help of beautiful, clever, and also wise Baba Yaga. <laughs> Come closer, and now listen carefully. Cachet's death lies on the tip of a needle. <laughs> Are you listening? The needle is nestled inside a tiny egg. And the egg lives inside the stomach of a duck. And the duck has been swallowed by a rabbit. And the rabbit abides in a chest made of stone which hangs from a high oak guarded by a dragon and watched over it carefully by Cache himself. Huh? But there is a way to reach that oak. <laughs> and that way, dear prince, is on the back of my magic steed. A luck go with you. Cash's death will bring Baba Yaga great joy. <laughs> ah, the prince comes for me. He'll not get far. My serpent will soon destroy him. Cache the immortal is not Ah! 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 The stone chest! Ah! Ah! I 
must get the stone chest. My promise to help I will now fulfill. Your kindness I now repay. <laughs> Thank you, loyal friend. The egg. Uh, I must get the egg. No! I've lost it. I've lost my chance at happiness. Don't despair. All is not lost yet. Lisa, my beautiful wife, why could I not see your beauty through the frog skin you wore? Oh, please, Vasilisa, come back to me. Come back as a frog if you must, but please come back. I love you, Vasilisa. again. Come now, my frog princess. Let's go home. 